Uh, so we're driving along. We got an hour or so into the drive, and Mabel just puked in between the seat. Uh, it's like the worst spot she could have. She got it on the seat, not on Haley's leg, luckily. But I mean, it's that's gonna be such a pain. Oh, it's like back. Oh yeah, I went under there. Yeah. I stuck my hand. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? All right, I need to, to take care of this. Got flashes on and everything. So I think it's been about three days since I've turned on this camera. There's really not much has happened. I've ran into some tax problems, so dealt with that. Still dealing with that. Um, but it's Saturday morning and Haley and I are getting ready to take off for a few estate sales. And maybe an interview thing for Haley. Mabel's really excited. Are you ready to go? You ready? Ah! All these flowers coming up. It's only like February middle or something. Just finished up with the first sale. Um, I got a Harry Potter uh, sealed four book set thing. Um, he wanted 10, I paid five for it, and it should sell for about 60. And then I got a whole tote of video game shit. Uh, it's $20 for everything, but there's so much in there, I, I didn't even pay attention. I just know that there will be a profit there. Um, but one down, and I have to get Haley to her interview. Good luck with your interview. Thank you. Do you think it'd be weird to just go into that cafe on the corner? It's like a food cafe, but just order a coffee and sit there? Nope. Always feel weird going into restaurants doing that. All right, love you, bye. Love you, good luck. Now that she's gone, I can... <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna hit up <laughs> one estate sale or garage sale, whatever I can find in this area, and probably go to that, then come right back to pick her up. Just finished up the second sale, uh, left empty handed, there wasn't really anything I was interested in, but in the basement, um, well in the upstairs, there's so much fish stuff, and I, somebody asked the owner, like, you must really like fish, I'm like, no, not really, husband does though, and uh, in the basement, he has a huge setup full of like multiple saltwater fish tanks. It's just kind of looks like shit right now because he's tearing everything down because they got to move and hopefully sell all this fish tank, which I'm sure is a pain in the ass. But uh, looking for some sort of garage sale and found this like art gallery and I lost Haley. Sweet 246. I'm not really excited about this one because it's a lot of this stuff. Yeah. But maybe I'll have cool plants we can have. Plants? It's good that has plants. So it was a decent garage sale day. I got this big tote of uh, video game shit, but as I was carrying it to the car, I'm getting like wafted with the smell of cat piss. So I really hope it's not all like so stinky that it won't sell. So here's what I got. I'm not gonna really go through it all, but there's a GameCube, quite a few games, two Xboxes. Um, here's this Harry Potter box set I got, still sealed. A um, bunch of cables, a uh, PlayStation 2 Slim, a few wireless uh, controllers there, like the the Connect thing. I don't know. So for twenty dollars, all that. Does it smell like cat pee, Mabel? And then this is kind of cool. It's a uh, I don't remember what the brand is. It's a, uh, uh, how to say that, Gartoff, but it's a uh, sauerkraut kettle thing. Also got rubber bands, but kind of want to make sauerkraut in there before I sell it. I paid 15 for it, and it should sell for about 120. Okay, so all the way to the gym right now, but earlier I mentioned how it's been kind of a rough few days due to tax issues, um, 
reason I made a really big mistake. Uh, I started selling on eBay in 2014 and started it just as a hobby. Like, oh, I can actually do this and make some money. And I kept receipts, but I didn't really track anything. I didn't really pay attention to it. I still had another job. Um, so in turn, I didn't even really think that I need to pay taxes on this. Well, I got a letter in the mail two days ago from the IRS stating that I owe $9,000. The good thing is that since I did keep all my receipts, I can go through them all and deduct a lot of stuff, so I won't actually end up paying $9,000. I'll be paying whatever. Um, I've already contacted my CPA and she's, of course, going to help me get this as low as we can. But regardless, it's still going to be thousands of dollars, and I already owe thousands of dollars from 2016. So it's been really upsetting, and it's taken a toll on uh, my creativity with this video, uh, these video projects. Just haven't really wanted to grab the camera and film myself doing whatever. So that's what that's about. that is what that is about. I'm gonna figure it out. So I guess the takeaway is if you do have your own business, or hopefully you have more business sense than I do. Getting better though.